tantric processes need elaborate visualization, elaborate. Very sophisticated levels of visualization to a point where it manifests. To make mental process just like a physical process is what tantra is trying to do. To make imagination so strong that after some time it is like physical. You actually create a ghost or you create a god, both are possible. Both are possible, any kind of form you want. You can actually create it, manifest it and make it walk. You know, like I was probably at that time, first standard means I'm five, six, six, seven I think, second, third standard I must have been. And I have a cousin brother who's a no good fellow. So at that time, in my mind, I'm, you know, like if I'm sitting like this, I'm… I'm… I can be engaged in my mind <laughs> for hours on end without any communication with anybody because I'm setting up all kinds of things. So I loved Mysore Zoo so much, I want to have my own zoo. So I designed my own zoo. I didn't call it a zoo, it was a world by itself, where animals were not locked as I wanted them, they were all over the place. Lots of animals and of course I had a rhinoceros and everything. So this fellow, uh, I… you know one day, something, he was with me and I told him, you want to see my pet animals? And yeah. So I just kind of took him in. I just started talking to him and I sat with him and I told him, see, this is it, can you see this, can you see this, can you see this, see this one? Every day he wants to go. Couple of times I allowed because he had something that I wanted. <laughs> After that he has nothing but he wants to go every day. And every day I have to sit with him and take him in. He got addicted to it. I am saying it can become so real. Whatever human beings are doing, use the same things to elevate yourself. This is the way of the tantra. When it comes to the guru, he exercises tantra on the disciple in different ways, in ways that they will not know. If you get connected like this energy-wise with a powerful deity, capabilities that are enshrined into that deity becomes available to you. Someday you must uh, do that with me or if you find me unattractive, you can do it with Dhyanalinga. Tantric processes need elaborate visualization. You will see Parvati wanted to have a child. The epithelial cells from your body, the earth for the material, your own energy and your mind, you make a baby out of it and it stands up. Once we initiate people into tantric processes, uh, we cannot leave them alone <laughs> because technology is an evolving process. With tantric practices or tantric methods, the change is dramatic. Tantra is a series of initiations. More than the practice, it's a series of initiations. When you went into it how you were, when you came out of it, you're not the same person anymore.
the Tibetans, because they came from a culture which was steeped in occult. They were looking for magic, they want things to happen. They added Rakinis and Dakinis and everybody to Buddha. In the tantric principle, everything fits in because there's no principle. The principle is of unity. So, Kailash is known as the tantric mountain. He found Padmashambhava as an eight-year-old boy. It might have been a completely different realm altogether. And they did phenomenal things, which could have never been done with simple meditative processes. <laughs>